Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hey everybody, we're out here in North Huntington, PA. We're out here taking a ride along Route 30 into the mountains like we normally do. And this time we have finally decided to stop here at this Dollar General, which started off as a Dollar General when it opened as one and was converted into a Dollar General market. Now the difference between a regular Dollar General and a DG market is that DG markets have fresh produce, fresh vegetables, fruit. They have uh, usually like ground meat, a lot better refrigerated and frozen food selection than a normal one would, whereas a normal one just has kind of like the basics. This one is kind of more like a smaller scale grocery store. So it's pretty nice. And uh, I've been in one before out in Ohio and uh, thought it was pretty cool out there. It was. Uh, can't remember I think it was in the uh, Warren or Niles area or it might have been New Philadelphia I think it was New Philadelphia anyway we stopped in one and we finally have one out here and I've been meaning to film it for a while so what are we doing talking in the car let's go inside the North Huntington DG market yeah there it is DG market that should be cool Oh, wow. Wow, it really is. Wow. Fresh bananas. Fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah. Really cool. They even have ground beef, ribs, pork tenderloins, chicken. Wow, great selection in here for a dollar general. Let's continue on. <laughs> a lot of groceries in this one. Wow, look how tall these shelves are too. Wow. I can't even I can't even hardly reach all the way up there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over I'm five five wow it's looking nice in here I like it and they even have self checkout registers in this one something that I haven't seen in any of the other ones near us that I frequent or go to anytime look how open it is in here too the register here they do Western Union they're transitioning a section here look at all the bread wow my body <laughs> I don't need any though we went to Sam's Club I got him there <laughs> and let's see back here large drink selection look wow look how far the coolers and freezers go all the way to the opposite end of the store this whole entire wall with all their beverages milk much larger than the one by our house hot dogs look at this bacon look at all that that's impressive very good. Yeah, what, what do we got over here? Dairy, eggs. Look at these, Kit Kat colliders. That's cool. Going back along the back wall here, it's impressive. Coolers all the way down the entire thing. Wow, they really outdid this place. Yeah, here's the frozen stuff like breakfast, Cool Whip microwavable meals wow frozen pizzas and not just like two or three different kinds I actually have a good selection frozen chicken much better look at the ice cream look how much ice cream they have here wow Pittsburgh favorite Klondike's my favorite are the crunch ones this aisle is their dollar deals aisle where everything's a dollar. Kind of like how Family Dollar has their Dollar Tree section in the stores. Very good. 
They even have their own special Dollar General market baskets, which are green instead of yellow like the traditional ones. Oh good, here's the aisle I need. I needed cat food. Big selection in here too. Hmm. I like to change it up. I don't like to get the cheap stuff. I, I They really like Meow Mix a lot in the Friskies. I even get them this stuff too. But I like to change it up sometimes. They love this. I think I'll... I, I've been hesitant on getting this in the past. And they've had like issues. But I've never had a problem with that one though. But let's see. Hmm. I think I'll do that one. What the heck? They haven't had it in a while. And apparently there's been a shortage of canned cat food. The wet food. But they have some here. And I'm going to get this one. So I'm going to have to get a basket to put that in. Alright, now that I got the kitties food. I've been trying to get them wet cat food for a while. Here's more groceries. Their grocery section is just huge. It takes up half the store. Then you have office supplies, cards. I see toys in here too. What are the Hot Wheels looking like in here? Do they have any? They have one. Oh, they have three. Hmm. Just haven't been able to find them anywhere. Hmm. Oh well. That's okay. More food. We're looking back at the food real quick. They have a lot of coffee here. A lot of coffee and creamers and a lot of candy and chips, all junk food. They have a really decent grocery section in here. And this is party supplies, gift bags, and that aisle. What do we have in here? Wow, decor? Oh, here we go. Easter goodies. Lots of Easter goodies. We'll do an Easter video at another time, though. I'm just basically doing a store tour here. Easter decorations. I'll have to put mine up soon. More food. Well, for Easter dinner. Makes sense, though. Over here they have Easter grass, and they don't have everything out yet. You see they're still working on the seasonal planogram. And they have Easter baskets and St. Patty's Day stuff, which they don't have a whole lot of stuff here. I mean, we're still about three weeks away. Oh, look at that tablecloth. I like that one for four bucks. That's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, this store is awesome. It's pretty large in here, too, for a Dollar General. Well, obviously, because it's a market. I mean, look at that display. <laughs> the Easter display here. All the pillows and rugs. Towels. This is a Dollar General on steroids. Look at all the kitchen stuff back here. Wow. Paper plates. Foil. Food containers, paper towels, kitchen towels, domestics. Look at all the cups, the dishware, the mugs, lamps, curtains, clocks, pictures. Wow, this is definitely not your typical Dollar General. No way. Flowers. I like this. I wish we had more of these in the Pittsburgh area, honestly. For the convenience of not having to go to Walmart when I'm tired at the end of a long work day and I just want to go up the road instead of like all the way out to Walmart. They even have solar lights here. Westinghouse, jeez. <laughs> you don't see that name very often anymore. Summer stuff. Oh, right. Now we're talking. This is more like it. I like summer. I love summer. Oh, yeah. Wow. A lot of planners, too. I'm going to have to get some. I need to get some new ones this year. Very, very nice. Oh, sweet beach themes. Love the beach theme items. As we go down here, they have more pillows. Lots of pillows, decorative ones too. Pole toys, summer toys for outdoors. And they don't even have it all out yet. They're getting there. They have electronics, they have earbuds, lots of earbuds. Cell phones. That's cool. I'm sure they have more electronics than that too. Let's see what else. More toys. Wow. It's weird how the toys are in like two different like sections like this. I don't know. Maybe they're still working on it. Here's a big clearance department here too. All clearance. I see a mossy oak shirt. I see jeans too. 
wow, who would have thought? Hmm. Wow. Let's see what else. And then your baby aisle. Oh, and like socks, underwear, that kind of thing. They even have like cheap t-shirts, shorts, like for sleeping. Not bad. Good sleep clothes anyway. Something to be comfortable in. Leggings. I like the mossy oak and... Well, I don't see real... Oh, yeah, some real tree stuff. Cool. Now we get an HBA, like... You, you know, like, well, toothpaste, mouthwash, deodorant, razors. Actually, we need to get some of those, too. I don't know which... I know Kayla needs them. I don't know which one she likes, though. But should get those, too, while we're at it. I'll have to ask her. She's in here somewhere. <laughs> Makeup. Cosmetics. Well, soap. And, you know, it's funny. I totally forgot to look for that soap at Dollar Tree in the other video, but they have it here, so here we go. I get to buy it. <laughs> I loved how good that smelled. They have splat. Don't use that. I know Kayla hates that stuff. Shampoo, conditioner. Wow, big selection too. Travel section. Much nicer than your normal Dollar General. Kitchen stuff, feminine care, trash bags, toilet paper, insecticide, band-aids. Lots of band-aids. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a dork. <laughs> More HBA. Meal replacement shakes. Slim fast. Medicine, like NyQuil, DayQuil, Advil, Tylenol. Yeah, this is a great store. More, uh, what is this puzzle? That puzzle looks cool. I like that. So when I looked down this aisle earlier, I showed you that they had party supplies, gift bags, and that kind of stuff. But I didn't realize just how many DVDs they had here. Look at that big selection here compared to the other stores I've been to. The other Dollar Generals. Wow. That's impressive. They have a large automotive aisle too. Lots of motor oil. Cleaning supplies. A lot of car stuff in this one that you don't typically see at your other locations. Then hardware and light bulbs. This seems very common though. Yeah, very nice. Mops, brooms, Swiffer wet jets. I'll have to get that. I'll have to get, yeah, the wet jet stuff for it. Ooh, they got game one. Ooh, nice. I got more solar lights. Oh, look at these, the solar hanging lights. Oh, I love those. Those are cool. Very cool. There's our electronics. They have a target box. <laughs> they have a few things, not a whole lot. All right, as we leave, we go out the door. They have some Valentine's Day clearance, pole noodles, charcoal, grilling accessories, patio chairs, folding chairs. Oh, that was so cool. I really like this place. Dollar General Market on Route 30 out here. Awesome place. Awesome place. So one thing I noticed inside the store and out here in the cart return are the green shopping carts for Dollar General Market. I get that, and they even say Dollar General Market on them like that. But what I thought was cool was there's the old ones from when it was just a regular Dollar General. The yellow carts way back there. I guess they're gonna send them off to another store because they're yellow, they're not green, so what do they need them for anymore? And there's a shipping container there like you would see on an intermodal train. <laughs> but I thought that was a cool acknowledgement, the yellow carts that they no longer use. How stupid would it be if I literally grabbed a yellow cart and went in there with that? Would they yell at me for it? Like saying like, you can't use that, that's not the right cart, you have to use a green one. Be like, well, your logo on the window's still yellow. What the hell does it matter, it's a shopping cart. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna wrap up that look here at the Dollar General Market out here. This one was really nice. First one in the Pittsburgh area, too. Kinda wish we had more. The only other one that I know of, just from looking on Google Maps, is the one in, uh, I think it's Chicora. It's just outside of Butler. So this one's cool. We just happened to be out here today and needed to get cat food anyway and figured, why not, let's go film it. I kinda wanted to for a while. Every time we were passing it, 
I would say, I want to film that one of these days. I want to film it one of these days. And now I finally did. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully we get more in the Pittsburgh area. They're nice and convenient. Very convenient and cheaper than the grocery stores. Shop and Save, for example, where they, the name, Shop and Save. You don't save anything there. You save money when you don't shop there. Same thing with Giant Eagle. Anyway, awesome store. I like it. I approve. Two thumbs up. Got what I needed. Got the cat food, too, since you can't find wet cat food anywhere. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. On that note, I'm going home. Take care, stay awesome, and on Kayla's behalf, have a Dollar General DG Market. Let's just stay. That works. All right, talk to you later. Bye.